What is up guys and welcome to a video on how to do the swords on Shadows of Evil. Now the first thing you'll have to do is you'll have to go look for these different codes around the map. They will be on the train and they'll always be on the side opposite the door of the train. Now they are, they are in the locations that I will be slowing down and showing you guys right here. I've been sped up the process in between each one and I'll slow it down when we get to the location. The window does actually blow, uh, glow bright red as well just to help with that. So there'll be two on the way from waterfront towards footlight and then you, what, you want, you'll, what you'll want to do after that is you want to change it to canals or whichever side you've done. So if you've started in footlight and going to waterfront then you'd want to change it to canals after that wouldn't you? And it'll always be, like I said, on the side opposite the doors. And those are my three codes. However, it will be different codes, as you'll see in the subtitles down below right here. So those are the three codes that you have to enter. You have to do it by pressing LT. Not holding LT, pressing LT on the door on the certain, like, symbols that you that you have found. Then you, what you want to do is you want to pick up the egg from inside that room. And you want to put it down and then also pick it up in the certain locations that come up. So the next location is obviously, there's, there's four of them. There's one in canals, there's one underground, and then there is also one in waterfront and footlight district. And they're all in the certain locations that I am obviously showing you guys right here. Now it's actually really easy to obtain the swords, especially when you've got like some sort of great form or something like that. Sadly the person in our game actually left, but all you have to do is it works just like a sword box in Origins or any other custom zombies map or whatever maps they actually originated from where you kill stuff around it and Bam that's done, but one more thing I would like to add quickly is every kill you do affects your egg And you do not have to wait for your other players So basically you can do your your like your own personal eggs and you can Pretty much do this in a public lobby even if you don't have any friends to play with. So that's pretty much it for this video. I will be bringing an upgrading swords tutorial guide. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So goodbye.